Hi, dear users of Flared. Here is uh, Beniamino, and we are in 3.2.0. Alpha. And I just want to show you how it works this new version of Flared that you will find on the store in the next days are now in version 1.8.54. Here is the latest uh, important update related to the cycles direct render. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, giving a little uh, samples so that can we make some fast tests. Please remember to turn transparent to higher value, 200 or 400 or 800, it depends on the kind of layer that you're going to show and to use and how many ghosts and some beams it has got. What we're doing here is uh, adding an S-flare. Uh, this is an octagonal flare. I will add a cube just to have something here to, to understand what we're doing this way. Uh, so here is the flare in cycles as you can see uh, i'm using an old gpu maybe your new gpu are faster than this one but the result is quite usable as a real-time editor of flares and um, i will show you what to do so i can make a direct render and it will work in cycles uh, we have two samples one and two that's all this is our flare, that's okay. Uh, but I just want to change this kind of flare. I want to use another kind of flare because this is not the kind of flare that will have problem. Uh, if we use a sci-fi flare, we may have some problems. So let's show it and uh, add as much ghosts as we can. So more goes here as you can see here is something really dirt we have some problem related to fireflies so i will try to render at two samples this flare and i want to see what's happened there okay here we are two passes uh, flares don't need too much passes so you if your scene needs a lot of passes just use them but remember that flares just need a lot of transparent um, light paths but not too much samples so uh, this flares is, is made by two samples um, this is okay uh, the result is okay uh, I like this there's no problem inside this uh, I was using a denoise now I'll try to ac deactivate all the denoise functions and I'll try to render this scene again uh, I'm at the moment I'm I really don't know if this scene can cause uh, some kind of problem because as you know we have intersections problems when planes are intersecting there themselves so i just try to to make something like this hoping that we can see some issues there and i try to render it again so, so from here render again and let's see what happens without the noise okay here we are again Oh, just one sample two samples okay let's take a look at what happens here uh, as we can see we have a lot of fireflies uh, this is because we didn't use the denoise uh, this is because we didn't use the optics as you remember in other uh, video that I made um, it's really important if you have uh, a GPU that support the optics to use optics and select noise anyway right now we have something without the noise and there's a lot of five flies and noise here this is because we have intersecting planes what we can do to avoid this kind of problem because we can use the noise of course but if you 
don't want to use the noise because the noise can slow down your work or can mm, modify the result that you would like to have. So what we can do if we have um, several issues and we want to avoid them, we have called back an old action that we removed from Flared some months ago and now is there again with another form in another way so let's uh, activate the cycles preview and if you can see here you have this new panel that is advanced render options uh, into this panel if you activate it you have force ev on a new layer this action if you activate this button will move all the flares that you have into your scene. You cannot choose which one to move or not. Uh, this will move all the flares to a new render layer that will be rendered automatically in EV and then composite into the compositor just to have the result that you want. So uh, what does it mean? It means this. If I press this one, it will ask me, use flare on a separate EV scene. Okay. Create new nodes. Yes. You'll have to add new composite nodes because if you are able to use the compositor and if you already have a lot of compositing nodes, you don't have to uh, activate this action because this will rewrite on your nodes uh, a simple nodes that will mix EV scene with um, cycle scenes. So if you are able to use nodes, don't activate this. But if you are not able to use compositing nodes and if you don't use them, activate this. So this will solve your problem. And press OK. Nothing will change here because uh, your scene is uh, is here again. You'll have your uh, real time real time depending on, of, on on your card. I've got an old card, so uh, my real time is compromised. You can go on in moving all your uh, f focal length or oh, all your values can be changed here, and you will have a direct preview of what are you doing here. And uh, if you are okay with this, as you can see, we ha will have a lot of fireflies as before, but this lens flare will be rendered in EV and then added to your scene that will be rendered in cycles. So let's see what happened. I will render this. And this is the cycle scene. We'll have the two passes. And this is the EV scene with the flare that will be rendered and added through the compositing nodes. Because, as you can see here, well, this is cycles and this is EV. This is a compositing node that will add two scenes together. So you can see the difference, but you will have a perfectly clear result. You can use this option only if you have issues in your flares. As you can see, uh, we didn't have issues with this kind of flare. Uh, there are no issues with other flares, but this flare and this flare, uh, they are full of issues because their structures uh, is um, different from the others and can be uh, subjected to this kind of fireflies and issues. So in these cases, uh, if you can't have a clear result in cycles, you can force an EV render. You just have to use this function in this case when the cycles render is not good. Uh, if you've got a good cycles render, just don't use this. And the problem of this is that if you now switch to EV uh, in this way, you will have this warning warning turn off this if you are on EV because uh, there's no way now with our uh, skills to make something different from this warning but if you now switch to EV uh, after forcing the EV render into a cycle scene you will have bad result because if I render this now uh, you can see that the render is uh, really fast okay Let's change. Okay, but we have a problem. This render is really brighter than this one. It is brighter because in the composite nodes, if we refresh these nodes, we will have a composite nodes with the cube 
and the flare and a composite note with just the flare. So the flare with will be added for two times and will be two times brighter than normal. So you'll have to deactivate this. Uh, it will ask you uh, what you want to do with the compositing nodes. Do you have to remove them? If you remove them, it will remove all your composited nodes of, of, of all your scene. So if you are a skilled compositor, don't use this. Okay, but if you don't have any skill in composited notes, take this one, activate it, and it will reset your composited note as it was before. Okay, so I will say okay, and now I can render in EV having a good result because I don't have this um, added two flares in one. Um, switching back to cycles. Um, I just want to say this, just remove this flare that is really hard to render, okay? And just add a simple flare like this one, that is really faster, okay? When we've made the new shaders compatible with cycles, starting from the ones compatible with EV that we've made two years ago, we noticed that there is some difference uh, between cycles and EV. It seems that cycles is a, a little dull than EV and EV is brighter than cycles. In some situations we've added some notes in cycles to uh, try to make the shaders more powerful, more similar to the EV version. In other situation we didn't do it so maybe that you will find this this is our uh, scene made in cycles and this is the same scene made in ev as you can see ev is brighter than cycles just take a look at this um, cycle seems to have uh, a dirt um, not really visible uh, instead of ev V is brighter. Uh, this is something that we can't modify now. Uh, I think that is a difference between uh, cycles shaders and EV shaders that is not depending on flared, but is depending on Blender. Anyway, you just have to know this. Uh, if you are using EV, you will have a brighter lens flare. If you are using cycles, you will have a less bright lens flare. But this is not a big deal, I suppose. Something more to say, I don't know, uh, some users asked us a way to control the intensity of the flare on the whole scene that you are working on. Um, we don't have this kind of control right now because we have the obstacle occlusion but it's not the same because obstacle occlusion uh, modified the geometries too and not only the brightness. But if you are working in cycles and you decide to activate the second scene that will be rendered on EV something like this and I will make this render again okay and I'll go into the compositing nodes mm, they are not refreshed I just want to refresh them okay this is what I I can see you have this control and this control is exactly what you asked for because if you change this factor you will change the intensity of the flare. There's no flare at zero, and there's the maximum flare at one, and you have all the other possibilities here inside this. So this is a new control that you can have if you work in cycles and render the flare in EV and use the compositor. So this is something that you can know and adjust if you like it. I hope this will help you in the issues that you could have into the next versions of